What is this? Uh, just wait, something cool is gonna happen. <laughs> and welcome to Facts or Frauds. People versus Martin, case 241388SM. <clears throat> Today's the uh, date and time set for a settlement conference. Also, there was a uh, motion by Mr. Martin, um, motion to dismiss the case. The court has uh, read through the motion. Uh, there was no accompanying brief and support. Well, there's also uh, objections to the denial of the uh, personal bond. I'm going to consider that as a motion for reconsideration. All right, Mr. Martin, was there anything else you wanted to place on the record, sir? Oh, yes. Um, well, first, I'm not a fraudulently assumed defendant. I am a living sovereign man. Um, I, can yes, see, uh, I can see that you are a living man. Uh, you are currently talking, and uh, we are having a conversation. So, okay. Great, right, but, well, but John, you know, under the law, there's fraudulent presumptions under Canon Law 3228 that, you know, that say otherwise. And there's a lot of support what I'm saying. So that's why I say what I say to, you know, for the record. But anyways, yes, I do have other things to say. Um, first, I also want to file a, a demand to dismiss this case based on speedy trial violation under Mission Court Rule 6.04C. 28 days for speedy trial in misdemeanor cases. I've been in jail over that since the 8th of last month of June. Um, and also, we'll go ahead and also say, uh, I ask that you give me all the time to speak, say anything I want to say, you know, instead of like shutting the court proceedings off if that's happened before, make sure I, you know, I'm done with everything I have to say. But that's it for right now. Um, but I, like I said, I have to say, depending on what you say in response. So. All right, well, your uh, motion to dismiss is denied. Your motion for reconsideration with regard to personal bond is also denied. Um, uh, do we, are we setting this for a bridge trial or a jury trial? Well, I asked that question. I have to respond now to your denial. Now, based on what reasons are those denied, I have things to say in response to that. Well, sir, there's, not, there's I'm not cutting you off, but there's nothing... It's my ruling. There's, if you want to file a motion for reconsideration as to anything, you're more than welcome to follow the court rule and do so. Um, but there's, there's really nothing to add to my ruling. Um, so I'm asking, the, I'm just asking the reason. I'm not asking the I'm asking, what are the reasons that the um, the bond, for example, is denied? Okay, first of all, what's what reasons is it being already, denied? I've already stated that last time, sir. So are we at my the next question here is: Do you want a bench trial or a jury trial? Well, I have more to say in response to the... Um, the Do you the, want a bench not. trial or a jury trial, sir? Stop avoiding the question. Not as much to take off. Jury. Jury trial. All right, we're going to set this for a jury trial. But I want to make it clear. And, uh, I'm, not, I'm not consenting be to given the notice. The You'll court. be given notice of when that will be, sir. Okay, I'm not consenting to the jurisdiction of the court still. and uh, You are subject to the jurisdiction of this court, sir. You live in the state of Michigan. You live in the jurisdiction and under the Michigan Constitution and the, the United States Constitution. This court does have jurisdiction over this case and over you as the alleged defendant. Uh, the, warrant was signed the, probable cause. the warrant had probable cause. The warrant was signed. That's all that's uh, needed to bring a uh, charge. And uh, it's brought in the proper place. Uh, which is here because you live in Taylor and this is Taylor. So this is where the case would be. So your motions were denied and we're going to set this for a jury trial. We'll be giving you the date and time of when that jury trial will be. Let, also, the, uh, deputy, let the deputy know that. Well, uh, that's what I mean. See, I'm not done yet. I have more to say. I'm so where did these dummies get these dumb ideas? The same place that wants you to believe your miserable aunt and closeted uncle are actually happy. The internet. And thanks once again for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You're subscribed and ring that bell. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a major thank you to all of our Facts or Frauds channel members. Wanishi, thank you.
If you'd like to become a member, just hit that join button right next to subscribe or click on the link in the description. Now, if you're still hanging out, thank you. I appreciate you all. Why not hit that thumbs up button? Make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Till next time, I'll see you soon.